Hey guys, I'm Eric Peterson and I'm a men's dating and relationship coach for skillofattraction.com and today's attraction tips video is called why women lose attraction for men. Now I was actually working on another video when I started thinking that you know I've talked about why women lose attraction for men in little bits and pieces here and there throughout my videos but I don't have one source where I explain all of this. And I figured this would be a good video to do because it's much easier to stop unattractive behavior than it is to make all the necessary changes in order to display that attractive behavior. I mean, really, it's you have to do both. You have to stop the unattractive behavior and display that attractive behavior. But in order to do that, you, for most of you, you're going to have to make some major changes. And that's not going to happen overnight. However, you can stop that unattractive behavior right away. So you could use this video as kind of a very basic guide of what not to do. So in this Attraction Tips video, I'm going to be discussing the main reasons why women lose attraction in men with whom they're involved because it always starts out great but over time men typically let that attractive behavior slide and that unattractive behavior shine but if you guys have any questions please feel free to send me an email all you have to do is head over to my website at skillofattraction.com click on the contact tab and shoot me a message from there all I ask is that you guys just keep your messages and questions to me rather short and to the point, really just one to two paragraphs max. Otherwise, I'm just not going to have time to read through them all. But I will get back to you as soon as I can and with either a written response or if it's a good question that I think will benefit my viewers, I will answer your question in a video. And I'll be sure to keep all your personal information private. But I will get back to you as soon as I can. I do have to take care of my paying clients first, but if you're just a little patient, I usually get back to you within a few days, maybe a week. But if you need to get in touch with me right away or you want to dive deeper into your situation, the best way to do that is again, head over to my website at skillofattraction.com. Click on the coaching tab and there you'll see I have several options for you to choose from. I offer emergency email coaching where I will respond to you within 24 to 48 hours, including weekends and holidays. And I also offer bi-weekly and monthly coaching where I will work with you throughout that time period. And most recently, I've also added one hour phone coaching for my U.S. clients. If you're outside of the U.S., I do have plans to add something for you guys sometime in the future. But for right now, if you need to get in touch with me, the best way to do that is through email coaching. And I will post a link to both my contact page and my coaching page in the description down below. Now, needy behavior is probably one of the biggest reasons why women lose attraction in men. And it didn't used to be like this, for most men anyway. And probably in the last 50 years or so, we've been conditioned to behave this way. We think this is what women want from us. And we get this from Disney movies, we get this from feminism, we get this from romantic comedies. And also, if, when we don't have a strong male role model in the house, which a lot of guys didn't grow up with a father. And obviously, I mean, single mothers are doing the best that they can, but they can't teach you how to be a man. And this is where we get a lot of this needy behavior from. Needy behavior is really when you need her validation in some way, shape, or form so you feel better about yourself. This could come in the form of telling her that you love her simply so you could hear it back in return, maybe forcing her to put a label on the relationship, or even seeking a, her to respond to your text messages or calls in a certain time frame. Basically, if you need to, you need her to say, do, or behave in a certain way in order to feel good about yourself and feel good about the relationship, that's needy behavior. And women find this very unattractive because it communicates that you have little to no confidence. 
And women find strength and confidence in men to be very sexy and appealing in the same way that men find a beautiful woman in a tight, skimpy dress to be sexy and appealing. And also by focusing on these things, things like the relationship and love, you're really giving off this feminine vibe and it's a super turnoff to women. And you have to understand that men are the gatekeepers of relationships, the same way that women are the gatekeepers of sex. And she's never going to respect you and cherish the cherish the relationship unless she has to work for it a little bit. The same way as you probably wouldn't respect her that much if you didn't have to work to get sex out of her. Clingy and smothering behavior is another very unattractive trait in men. And needy and clingy are kind of two sides of the same coin. And being clingy is doing things like always checking up on her or always wanting to be around her. Maybe if you're at a party, you're following her around at the party. Or even things like liking and commenting on all of her social media posts. You know, telling her how beautiful she is all the time. And believe it or not, women find this pretty repulsive. You know, because women need time and space away from you in order to wonder about you so their feelings can grow. Plus, men with a purpose in their life, they just don't have time to be always worried about what their girl is saying and doing, and hence giving her a little time and space away from you. And another attract unattractive trait is being jealous and possessive. This communicates insecurity in that deep down you don't feel that you're good enough for, for her. And just as I mentioned that women love confident men that know that they are her best option and that she would be crazy to think any differently. Women also find controlling behavior to be very unattractive. When a guy feels that he has to control what his girl does, again, it's really just a sign that he needs her to be a certain way in order for him to feel good about himself. If you can't accept how your girl is, within reason, of course, then you really shouldn't be with her. Otherwise, it's just going to be an uphill battle for you, and it's just going to make her miserable. And this is not a healthy relationship. But men often do this. They try to control their girl out of fear that they themselves will not be able to find a better woman. So they have to shape her and mold her into being this the exact girl that he wants her to be. But this fear is only causing her to lose respect for that man. And women will never love a man that she doesn't respect. And another one is letting her take the lead in the relationship. Women want you to take the lead in a relationship. Even those super successful, high-powered corporate business women type, when they get home from you know, their job where they're in control and they're taking the lead, they want their man to be the rock and to take the initiative in the relationship. And women absolutely despise when men hand over all the power to them in the relationship. And there's been studies done about this. They despise it. And this could be something as little as you know, trying to make her choose the restaurant. I know there's all kinds of jokes about how she can never choose the restaurant but the thing is, women don't want to choose the restaurant. They want you to choose the restaurant. And this could also be something like if she's trying to choose between you and another man and you're waiting around for this. You know, confident men that know their worth are decisive and they're not going to wait around for something like that. Now, this doesn't mean that she doesn't have her say in these things, but she does want you to take the initiative and take the lead in these types of decisions. Now, where clingy, smothering, controlling behavior is on this side, way on the other side is being too complacent or taking her for granted. And this could happen very easily in a long-term relationship. But if you're too lazy in the relationship, you're too complacent, you're taking her for granted, over time she's going to start feeling that you just don't care about her and she's going to slowly fall out of love until her love for you is completely gone. 
And once she gets to this point, there's very little chance of being able to win her back because once a woman's love for you is gone, it's gone. One of the biggest reasons why women leave men is because he's not present. And that doesn't mean physically present, like you're sitting next to her on the couch and you're like, I, I'm present, I'm sitting right here. What that means is being emotionally present. You know, your face isn't buried in your phone or watching the TV when she's trying to discuss things with you. And another trait that causes women to lose attraction is when you're too cold. Now, a lot of you guys that I teach, you guys are getting the wrong message that, you know, being cold and distant is going to cause her to chase you and win her heart. And that's not the case. I mean, being a little aloof and indifferent is one thing, but you, she still needs to feel like she's special to you. And if you don't show her that she's special once in a while and make some time for her where you're present, again, she's going to begin to feel like you just don't care about her or you don't love her. And she's slowly going to shut down emotionally and just fall out of love. So when women feel that you put them above yourself by acting needy and clingy and insecure and letting them take the lead, she's going to lose respect for you and just become completely repulsed, hence lose attraction for you. And this is typically when women will end things with you without giving it a second thought. By that time, she's pretty far gone. She's like, oh, I'm done. And once a woman forms an opinion about you, it's very difficult to turn that around. And the same goes for when she feels that you don't care about her anymore or you don't love her or you're just using her. So you really have to be cognizant of how you're showing up and presenting yourself in the relationship. I mean, part of staying on top of your game is being aware of these things. And it's very easy to fall into these routines and patterns if you're not paying attention. And this is typically when a guy will contact me and he's like, I don't know what happened. It happened completely out of the blue. And that's usually because you weren't paying attention. You were, you know, your game was getting sloppy and these things just kind of creeped up on you and you didn't even see it coming. And by that time she had lost all attraction. Now, don't get me wrong. I mean, women have to stay on top of their game too. And, but I'm talking to mainly men here. And for my female viewers, all of these things turn men off too. I mean, I think men are a little bit more, uh, tolerant of like the needy and clingy behavior to a certain point because it's a little bit more expected but you know to the extreme it's still very unattractive all these qualities are still very unattractive to men too but like i said i'm mainly talking to guys here so that's this is why i'm directing it towards you I'm not saying that women are angels and they're perfect because they're not but these are the things that you have to be aware of in order to maintain her attraction. So if you guys have found this video helpful or any of my videos helpful, I would really appreciate a thumbs up and for you to share it with any of your friends and family. And I would also really appreciate if you hit the subscribe button down below and tick that little bell symbol next to it so you get real time notifications of when I upload new videos. And in the description down below, not only will I have a link to both my contact page and my coaching page, and I also have a link to some recommended reading, some great books for men, so you can understand attraction and game and dating and relationships much better. But I will also have a link to PayPal if you deem this video worthy of a donation. So that's it for this video. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Have a good one. Bye-bye.